Hello all, welcome to Sivan CSA PhD training YouTube channel in association with the AMB IT Services and Technologies Hyderabad. In this recording, I would like to highlight about the factory calendar. How the factory calendar is defined and how the factory calendar is assigned to the respective organizational elements in ST module. For example, in the plant definition, during the sales organization definition, and during the definition of shipping point, where we assign the factory calendar as per the client's requirement. Who is responsible person and what exactly the factory calendar means? In this recording, the complete description, we are going to discuss about it. Factory calendar contains the number of working days with weekend and holidays. That means it determines the number of working days as well as the holidays also. So with the help of factory calendar, any organization, they plan the activities. So SAP system will advise if the work being planned is on valid working day or is on in weekend or on holidays. So where exactly we need to plan. So based on the factory calendar, we define and assign it to the respective plants or shipping points or sales organizations. So here we use the transaction code SCAL scan. See in real time, so normally this activity will be performed by the PM consultants or PPKM consultants or HR teams. However, we must know where exactly this factor calendar is defined and how this factor calendar is defined. So the prerequisites are like first we have to list out the number of holidays in any in a calendar year, define the holiday calendar. So so till what year this factory calendar is applicable and assign the holiday calendar to that particular factory calendar. So we will see the complete step-by-step -step process about the factory calendar definition. So here you can see that first we need to select, once you type the calendar, uh, the transaction code is scan, it will take us to the screen where we need to define, first we need to select the public holidays and we need to specify our holiday, which holiday is required for that particular year. However, in India, the Republic Day of India will occur every year on 26th January. So we need to define that one, whether in this list of holidays, whether it is there or not. If it is not there, then we need to include that particular holiday into this particular list of holidays. So whether it is a fixed date, yes, it is a fixed date. So with fixed date, as well as when you click on that one, it, it will take us to this screen the public holiday calendar. So 26th January, we have specified here, the day as well as the month. It is not guaranteed means, so we cannot move the holiday calendar, holiday that is 26th January, if it falls under weekend. It has to be on 26th January, even if the 26th January comes on weekend and that is already holiday, so we cannot move it to the next working day. That is what it is not guaranteed. So then we need to select the holiday calendar and then we need to assign that holiday calendar to this, whatever the holiday, public holiday, which we have defined, that is Republic Day of India, that we need to assign in this screenshot where we can see. So that this will be applicable till the validity periods, like from the year 2010 till 2030, this Republic Day of India, yeah. it remains same only, it will not be changed. So that is why we have included. So then finally, we need to select the factory calendar where we need to assign the holiday calendar. So already, already the holiday and calendar has got the list of holidays, public holidays. So, and we need to specify the validity periods from, from the year till the two year. So 2010 to 2030. Suppose if any of the country, country specific uh, factory calendar based on the client's requirement, they wanted to include on Saturdays also, and otherwise, if they are working on even public holiday also, they can define of their own as per their country-specific factory calendars. So it is not mandatory that we need to specify only Monday to Friday. Based on the country-specific factory calendars also, we can define them and then we can assign them as per the client's requirement, as per the requested uh, organizational elements, we need to assign them. So here, in SD perspective, where we can see that during the definition of our sales organization, where there is a sales organization calendar, if it follows the same factory calendar, then we, we can assign it here and then followed by the plant. So this will be taken care by the normally PM team or uh, MM team also, they will do that factory calendar, whatever 
the factory current is defined and required for that particular country specific. If it is Germany, then the like that. If it is US, then US like that. Based on the country specific factory calendars, we can define them and then we can assign to the respective organizational elements. Finally, the shipping point. If it is required, because the shipping points will be always assigned to the plants. So factory calendar is enough in maintaining the in the plant itself. However, if at all you wanted to assign the factory calendar during the definition of shipping point, also we can define them. Okay, the roles and responsibilities of SD consultant in assigning the factory calendar is in sales organization as well as the shipping point. The plant will be taken care by the MM consultants. So these are the things which we are going to see them in the system also. So let me go to SAP. So we will see where exactly we are going to get this factory calendar. So let me type the transaction code SCAL. So it will take us to the screen here. Here the thing which is written here, the calendar is not client specific. Each changes, each change takes effect directly in all the clients. For example, your development system or server has got multiple clients like uh, uh, customization and configuration client and testing client and then followed by the sandbox. So whatever the changes we make it here, that will be reflected in all the clients. We need, we no need to move them to the one client to another client using the transaction code SCC1 in this scenario. First, let us select the prerequisites, the so sub-objects, public holidays. So click on change mode, whether here we have defined the Republic Day of India or not. So here it is, Republic Day of India, which is already defined it. However, this is not included in the holidays calendar of the India. For example, if I go to this one, yeah, this is with the, it is with the fixed date. And then here you can see the 26, that is from 0, 01 to 31 days in a month. So 26th day of that particular month, that is the month is January. So every year, 26th January, this uh, Republic Day of India occurs. So we no need to change it. And then when you click on this continue, it will take us to the not guaranteed. So again, I'll just take you. Okay, Republic Day of India, which is already there. And uh, so this is already there. Then we, we can go to the holiday calendar. Select this and then click on change mode. And select the factory calendar, Indian holiday calendar. And click on the change button. Because it is already there, that is why I am going to the change mode instead of the creation. So in this list, there is no Republic Day of India. So we have not yet assigned it to this particular uh, holiday calendar. And here I have specified the validity periods. That means these holidays are eligible or are the mandatory things during this period. So 2010 to 2050, the holiday calendar is applicable. These holidays are applicable. So we need to assign the holiday that is Republic Day of India to this particular list. Select this and then scroll down here we need to see the Republic Day of India. Yeah, select this and then assign it to the public holiday calendar. So it is assigned here. See here you can see the validity is 1900 to 2098. And then click on save button. So just continue. Continue. And just come back again. And let us see whether we this particular holiday has been assigned to it or not. So here we can see earlier it was having only two days. That is Gandhi Jayanti and India May Day. So Gandhi every October 2nd, we, we celebrate Gandhi Jayanti. And in the worldwide, majority of the countries, they follow the May Day as 1st May. That is also there. And the Republic Day of India, we have included in this particular calendar. The similar way, each and every country, Germany, 
um, US, UK, any country for our, for our, for that matter, they can define their own holiday calendar and then assign it to this particular particular their factory calendar. And then the finally we can see the factory calendar here. So India and then change. So here we can see on which days this factory calendar works like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Suppose there are countries they wanted to function even on and during the Sundays, they can select this particular Sunday or public holidays also they wanted to uh, function, then they can assign it here. They can choose them. And here, this is the holiday calendar. And this validity period will be uh, reflecting here based on the holiday calendar validity period. However, first we have to make the changes in the validity periods in the holiday calendar. And then we have to make the changes here in the factory calendar. This is how the factory calendar functions. Thank you all. Have a nice day.